contrary to popular belief, there once wasn't an ugly duckling. There was 40 of them. When Bullied couldn't improve the Mortal Q class, he set about designing his own 060 goods engine. But there was a problem. Britain was at war, and the War Department needed an engine that wasn't just powerful, but lighter than air and could be mended with bits of string. Surprisingly, Bullied could deliver, and he delivered what became Britain's most powerful 060, with attractive effort pushing over 30,000 pounds while just tipping the scale at 89 tons combined, not much comes close in this size. It wasn't all morning glory though, because, well, look at it. Call them what you will, Charlies, coffee pots, telescopic bread loaves on wheels, the wartime philosophy of just attaching the bare essentials made the Q1s look hideous, if not a bit tedious. The engine was so bare that if you wanted to clean out the smoke box, you had to lay a plank of wood across the buffers just to have something to stand on. But Bullied held strong faith in his engineering. Legend has it that during testing between Ashford and Tunbridge, Bullied sat on the coal pile on top of his engine while it ran up to 60 miles an hour backwards. The Q1s all made it into BR days, and this one survived until 1964 when it was then sent for scrapping, and then brought to the Bluebell Railway in the 1970s. After a few working spells there, number C1 has since become a common sight at the NRM. She may be an eyesore to some, but Churchill wasn't much of a looker either, and he's still worthy. Mm -hmm.